Hi, welcome to another Trimble Site Vision video. Today we're going to look at a site modeling workflow that uses Site Vision in conjunction with SketchUp. This will allow us to create an accurate model of existing site conditions within SketchUp to support our design process. Then we can visualize the final model on site in context. So you can see we have a pretty challenging site up here on the hills, which is pretty steep and it can be really difficult when you're working off paper plans to really understand the actual slope and uh, topology. Um, so first I'm going to set up a new job and I'm doing this right on top of one of the boundary pegs. This isn't strictly necessary but it is helpful because later when I view my data in SketchUp this will be the location of the SketchUp axes so it does help to know where this point is. Um, and now I'm going to move around the site and capture points on the ground and just map out the ground surface. If you look closer you can see the points are recording in northing and easting. This is relative to that boundary peg I set up on along with an elevation above sea level. And I'm actually using site vision on a pole as this is a bit more accurate. It also makes it a lot easier, um, especially in the long grass here. It's um, easy to get that down onto the ground surface. So here are all the points that I gathered in SketchUp. I actually used an extension called Point Gadget 2 to bring these into SketchUp. You can grab Point Gadget for free from the extension warehouse. Uh, I then used another extension called Topo Shaper, which is really amazing, and converts those points into a 3D surface model. This is also free. Um, that's available from the Sketchication website. And then with the 3D model uh, for context, it makes it a lot easier to then model and develop the design within SketchUp. Uh, note the location of the axes there, which corresponds to the boundary peg. Um, and then once you're done modeling, then you just put your SketchUp model back on Connect as usual, and um, you're ready to head out to site. So now we're back out on site and then we've loaded up our model and you can see that this has just dropped straight in where it should be. This is thanks to SiteVision's built-in high accuracy GNSS antenna which ensures anything you measure or visualize will be positioned accurately. But I do always like to double check things are in the right location. So one of the points I measured was the other boundary peg and I modeled a little bullseye over that in SketchUp. So I can get right down and just make sure that is lining up with the physical peg, which gives me confidence that my model is in the right position. Uh, so now it's time to explore our design in the field in context. Um, you can see this SketchUp model has come straight in with all its textures and provides a really nice looking visualization. Um, SiteVision does actually support quite a large range of file formats. Uh, BIM formats such as IFC, but also CAD formats such as DWG, LandXML, and even GIS data from Esri. Yeah, you can see we also have some nice visualization features such as the ability to toggle layer visibility. Um, here I've switched off the structure. I'm just looking at the ground surface model by itself. I've also switched on the option to display contours so I can get a really good look at the proposed earthworks that are going to be needed and work out what type of machinery might be required. Um, how that might access the site and in those types of uh, logistical considerations. Another really helpful tool is the transparency slider. This lets you fade the model content in or out to reveal the real world. This helps to understand the context and how the model sits within the environment. Additionally, the cross-section slider lets you very easily expose interior sections of the model and this can show how the design proposal interacts with its environment in a specific area, for example the steer well under the house there. Um, so with this site modeling workflow hopefully you can see how site vision can be really helpful to provide accurate data to support your design process but then also being able to take that design back out into the field and view it in context. This provides an understanding of how the design will interact with this environment, neighboring properties and can visually communicate in a very simple way a very complex 3D environment. So thanks for watching and for more information please check out our website or contact your authorized Trimble distributor.